What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. I'm here for another video. And as always, the Potomac streets are on fire. Y'all, Wendy got vindicated. We're going to get into all that. But remember, Mia, don't sue me. I ain't got it. <laughs> like the video as I play my intro, because we got to get right into it. Make it make sense. Could somebody please make it make sense? Big moves! Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Make it make sense. What's up? What's up, everybody? So, y'all, we're here for a time, but we're not here for a long time. We're also going to get into that Robin, Juan, Mistress thing. But it is like celebrity wife swap on <laughs> the Housewives of Potomac. This is crazy. If you remember, part of the catalyst for the big Mia-Wendy fight was... Maybe that's how you and your husband play. My man and my husband play. We don't play like that. That was right before the drink got thrown and right after the drink got thrown. Your husband can go f other women and men. Mia was livid. She changed the entire fight into you were calling Gordon gay. But right off the bat, when I saw the fight, I was thinking, hmm, she's extremely angry. And we do know that they bring other people into the bedroom, allegedly. But why would you be so angry if they just threw out the word men? She didn't say she slept with men. There is a such thing as a wife swap. That kind of thing goes on. You know, people are adults. So I didn't get why she would be so mad. But then, as always, Mia tells on herself. Andy asked her if the rumors about Wendy and her were true. Her response? Uh, it depends on if Eddie's involved. Yeah. It depends if Eddie... Now, y'all know Wendy does not play like that, but Mia continues on. Down. So he no. wouldn't then be involved. Then he goes down. Okay. Oh, so Eddie would need to be involved. Absolutely. Okay. And so would you. Oh, okay. It would have to okay. be like a quadruple. That, you guys, is an admission. <laughs> so my allegedly manner is scrolling, but that is me admitting to bringing men and women into the bedroom, thereby validating Wendy's claims. It doesn't take... It does. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to make the correlation be between them doing that more than likely prior to <laughs> just saying it on Watch What Happens Live. Just saying. Now, I told you guys on my live that Mia found my channel and commented on it under my Tita interview. And then I feel like, in my opinion, she's actually trolling me and creating new accounts. Now, y'all know if you know me, I'm always in the Bravo space and I'm always making comments. So I left this comment. comment. In my Nini voice, Mia is declassing the show. This is RHOP not seeking a sister wife. Y'all know I will have to talk about this on my next review. Underneath that comment, let me make this bigger so you guys can see it. Underneath that comment, somebody says, Mia gave you the increase views and clicks you needed mia actually gave folks something to talking about bringing down the show be thankful lol now here's why i think this is another mia troll account this account was just created like 10 days ago <laughs> then if the account was just created 10 days ago 
how would this person know that Mia gave me any increase in views and clicks? Then I did not say bringing down the show. I said declassing the show. Only Mia wouldn't know what declassing means <laughs> or get the reference to Nini saying that about Phaedra and, you know, Portia, freaking frack. Be thankful. Be thankful is what really gave me a clue that that's Mia. That sounds like something she would say to Jacqueline. That sounds like something she would say to her castmates. So Sequoia, I think you're Mia, just like I think Rima was Mia. But anyway, moving on. So this wife swap thing that continues to go on in Potomac, I feel like Eddie is the object of a lot of people's obsessions. <laughs> and the fact that Mia said it, and we'll just... Eddie, Eddie. Just saying. And that's not the only ones. <laughs> you just pick up on little things. I'm just wondering what kind of trouble G and Ray are going to get in moving forward. Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. I wonder what kind of trouble G and Ray are going to get in moving forward, too. It's been a while, huh? Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Was that a moody Ray? <laughs> and that moment is when Gordon realized he would fit in with this group. Now, the Grand Dom has made some allegations about Juan, and we're going to move to Juan in two seconds. But Karen... You say little things that just keep it on the straight and narrow. I like you, Grand Dom. I think you're the Grand Dom of Potomac. But you're saying little things. Juan makes you uncomfortable. And that could have possibly happened. Karen is a very vivacious, you know, juicy woman. But you can't be saying these little things. Like, I don't know. I would have thought that when Mia's husband said, Oh, girl, you look so good. <laughs> That would have offended you, but it didn't. I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gordon any day. He does not <laughs> offend me. So, <laughs> y'all, do I need to bring the receipts, baby girl? Do I need to bring the receipts? <laughs> but remember, don't sue me, because... I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on to... <laughs> Rob the Builder and her relationship. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys stay in the streets. The streets talk and the curves listen. Thank you guys for all of it. You guys have definitely kept me in the know about what's going on. My inbox was inundated um, with this particular TikToker. So shout out to him. I'm about to share it with you and then give my quick thoughts on what I actually think about this person coming forward. On TikTok, his name is Giorgio Says. Check him out. Being in Maryland helps because I was just reached out to by someone who allegedly dated Juan during the end of COVID for over a year. Let's talk about it. So this user who will stay anonymous reached out to me and basically let me know that she dated Juan for over a year during COVID. She sent me a screenshot of where she tagged her location just so that I knew that she was telling the truth. She did mention that Robin does know, but asked her to not make it public, obviously. She also shared the very last text message that he sent her, which was on January 26th of 2022. So just a little bit almost a year ago at this point. She did not respond, but she explains why she stopped talking to him. She also shared a hotel invoice, which I have taken out a lot of the personal information because it did have Juan's personal info. So I've taken that out, but everything else on here is pretty much a normal invoice. This is a real hotel in Maryland. And I believe she was going to send this to producers, but I think she just didn't want to get caught in the crossfire because obviously Robin knows about this and didn't want her to make it public. But it appears Juan allegedly was doing some weird things. Here's a close-up of the invoice. You can see Juan Dixon's name is on it. She also claimed that the reason why she stopped messing around with him was because he likes to, I guess, meet girls and I guess have his way with them, but then pass them off to his friends. 
um, which kind of sounds like ST to me a little bit. Um, it's giving that vibe. She also said that one of the friends who she did send me who this person was um, came to her hotel room door when they, I guess, were going to take her back to the ho- uh, to the airport to fly back. And she says that the friend exposed himself and said that she needed to, you know, fill in the blank. So that scared her, that turned her off. And so she went back home and she stopped all communication with him. But this is crazy. I'm still digging up some stuff, but I wanted to throw this out there. Okay, so here's my thoughts. I don't like it. Do I think that this could potentially be true? Everybody's been saying stuff about a blind woman, you know, he, you know, has a type. Karen has let us know. The problem that I have with it is everybody says, you know, blame the man. The man is the one in the relationship. Absolutely. However, what is this woman's motives for doing this? You waited till the most opportune time to drop that information in a blogger's lap. I question her motives. If you want me to interview you, lady, I'll do it. But what do you get out of that? You knew that you were in something with a married man. You allegedly knew the wife. What point does it serve to now go to the blogs? Just saying. It's very similar to that female pastor who went on a rant and then got a YouTube channel to expose Jamal like what's the point a it's probably true but nobody cares like it is what it is if Robin is okay with it if she likes it I love it you guys join me tonight I will be going live for my big birthday party I would love to have all of you guys there I have some special guests that will be popping in some of my friends that are content creators some people you would not expect so I will see you guys tonight This is insane. (laughs) Absolutely insane. Bye, (laughs) y'all.